I was uh, talking with a good friend of mine who's also a client, and uh, his mortgage had come up for renewal. It was, uh, um, it was a year ago, give or take. And when we were able to get him the mortgage, uh, didn't have really great credit, um, was part of uh, the flooding that had happened in, in uh, southern Alberta uh, here last year and had bumped into some, some troubles. Uh, but we were able to get him a mortgage. We were able to get him a mortgage with what uh, we would refer to as a mid-market lender. And so uh, for those of you who don't know what a mid-market lender is, there are your traditional banks who are the most affordable money in the marketplace. They're the prime plus or the prime minus money that you hear about all of the time. And then on the other side of the spectrum, there are private lenders who we just sort of categorize as double digit plus money. But then there's a group in the middle that we refer to as uh, mid-market lenders. And so uh, this particular client that we had been able to help, uh, we were able to get him a pretty good, a pretty good mortgage. The, uh, the interest rate was uh, about maybe 5% or somewhere around there. Uh, based on his his credit, and it wasn't that he had bad credit. It turns out he actually just didn't really have any credit, and the credit that he did have was old, and it didn't report very well on his bureau. So this was sort of the only place we could go. And then his mortgage renewal came up, and then we went to try and, and uh, work to get him a better deal, and we were not able to do that, uh, mostly because there aren't a lot of mid-market lenders that were pro are providing mortgages today for properties that were located within any of the flooding areas or anywhere close. So, unbeknownst to me, uh, my friend calls the bank and says, you know, guys, you, you, I've got my renewal notice here, but the interest rate has gone up, and you're telling me it's because of the, the credit that I have. You've checked my credit, and, and therefore, you've increased my interest rate. But you know what? I went back and looked. Nothing on my credit has changed since a year ago when you guys agreed to do the deal. And so I think that if you were prepared to give me, you know, this rate uh, at at this time a year ago, I don't know why you're charging me more uh, a year later when really nothing in my life has changed. In fact, I've been at my job longer. Um, uh, we've saved up more money. You'll notice that my net worth is a little bit higher. And so, guys, get, you know, is there, are you sure there's nothing you can do for me? And my friend had called me while he was uh, doing this, and uh, he he uh, he was you know hoping that he could get a better interest rate. And anyway, about 15 minutes later, the banker had called him back and said. Uh, you know what, you're right, we did take a look into it, and uh, as it turns out, not only are we going to just knock the rate back to, to what it was a year ago, we're actually going to make it lower than that. So you're, you're going to be able to save a little bit of money. So for those of you that have a mortgage renewal coming up, obviously we would encourage you to shop the market, make sure that you know what the best rates are. Um, make sure you understand what uh, what's available to you. But for those of you that might have blemished credit or, or credit that's not perfect and you get a renewal notice, it doesn't hurt to pick the phone up before you sign that sheet of paper and send it back to the bank. It doesn't hurt to pick the phone up and say, hey guys, are you sure this is the best that you can do for me? Because if I look at my credit situation, not a lot has changed since you guys gave me the mortgage. And so that might end up saving you a little bit of money. And if not, hey, at least you gave it a try, and uh, I guess you never know unless you do try.